Hello everybody, Trevor here, and welcome back to the final top 5 wooden railway video for the time being. In this video, we will be discussing my top 5 picks for the best 2022 wooden railway items. Sure, there will be more next year, but in terms of this year, I'm only going to pick the most recent ones. Why am I doing a top 5 instead of a top 10? Well, I just want to make this short and quick because I want to get this done and over with before I go celebrate Easter this weekend with my family. Now without wasting any more time, let's carve this brand new top 5. Number 5 is Henry. If there's one thing I really like about this new model of Henry, it would be that his domes are correct, which makes it look better than his original counterparts. But the real reason why he's so low on the list is because 1. I already nitpicked on the number of wheels each tender engine has, so I don't want to sound like a broken record. 2. Most other redesigned engines like him look to the right for some strange reason. 3. He was one of the engines who was replaced by Nia and Rebecca. While I understand why many people were upset about it, but at least we still get to see them on Sodor. And 4. Nowadays, in all engines go, he along with Edward didn't have that many roles, not to mention that they hardly speak for some stupid reason. Overall, while I do prefer the 2002 model for the sake of nostalgia, but when it comes to the redesigns of 2022, I think this is one of the few better ones because of the two accurate domes on his boiler instead of one. Number 4, Emily. I don't know about you guys, but I love the fact that Emily now has the number 12 on her tender. I also like the fact that she has the correct funnel and gold dome. In fact, I think this model looks better than her original counterparts. Maybe someday when I get her, I'll do an unboxing video and I'll let you guys decide whether I should replace my old Emily with this new one or not. Number 3, Kenji. In my opinion, this is 10 times better than the wood version which was Japanese exclusive. I mean, look at this model. Not only he has the plastic bogies like the other big engines, but his length is correct, not to mention that he comes with a coach. However, my only problem with this release is that his coach is a bit small, but oh well, it's better than nothing. Number 2, Brandom Docks. When it comes to new destinations for this year, I think this is the best one out of all of them for many reasons. First of all, I love that Cranky has an upset face instead of a happy one, which means he hates working all day and all night and gets tired of it. But the coolest thing about this destination pack is the detachable features including the lift and clamp attachments, which are designed to lift and load cargo and engines. If there's one problem I have with this toy, it would be Bolstro's new face. Sure, his hull is an improvement over his wood counterpart, but his face is too big and not very accurate to the TV series. But other than that, I would highly recommend this toy to your kids and grandkids because it's such an improvement over the previous incarnations of Cranky. Though, I still want to keep the 2005 version just for the sake of nostalgia. Now before I get to my number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Red Rosie. I'm going to make an unboxing video on her eventually, so be sure to look out for that. Tima Sheds. Although it's better than the wood counterpart in terms of compatibility, but my only problem with it is how small the turntable is. Edward. He would have been number 5. James. He got beat out by Henry as well. Nia and Rebecca. As much as I like these models better than their wood counterparts, but I think Emily is the most interesting one because she has more personality than Nia and Rebecca. And the number one best wooden railway items of 2022 are the Troublesome Trucks, both with crates and paint. I was hoping Mattel would do these things justice. What I love about these Troublesome Trucks is that they are distinct from one another. For instance, one has the crates, the other has paint cans. I also like the different facial expressions on each of them. One has a smirk face, the other has an unhappy face. Though I'm not sure if the crates and paints are detachable because they seem to be designed to stay on there. Oh, and if there's one small problem I have with the paint truck, 
it would be the one illustrated paint can on the side of him, which makes it seem out of place. But other than that, I still think these two Charleston trucks are the best items of 2022, with the Brenham Docks playset coming at a close second. Now let me know in the comments section on which TWR items you think are the best of 2022. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? This is Trevor Davis, and I'll see you all again after my Easter vacation.